Hello. I need to remember to look over here. <laughs> um, except when I'm looking over here for my laptop. My name is Madeline. I use she and her pronouns and I come to you on the land of the Kabi Kabi people of the Sunshine Coast in Australia, where I live. Um, yeah. So today is a little bit of a different video. Um, this year I am hosting the half and half let me get the hashtag right um it's a 2023 half and half wrap knit along uh, the hashtags which i'll put on the screen are hashtag 2023 half and half wrap along hashtag pearl soho half and half wrap with capitals um and so yeah this is just an introductory information video it shouldn't be too long um but I've, yeah i've got some information to share so um, we're at a different location. We're still in the craft room, um, but I'm next to my computer. So I'll be looking over this way because um, there's information. So yes, um, for those of you who've found me um, through other places of the internet, I'm Mad Bell on Ravelry. I'm Mad About You on Instagram. Um, and I'm hoping that most of you have come here either because you watch the podcast usually or um, you've found me on Instagram before. So background. Half and Half Wrap has taken the knitting world by storm probably two years ago. I think Caddy Jacks Knits and a few other people have knit it um, and hosted their own knit alongs. I really wanted to make this pattern, but I struggle with commitment and finishing garter in particular big patterns. If we look at this basket here, it's full of whips that are yet to be finished. So um, I in 2021 hosted the Matter About You Challenge where everyone who joined us picked a project that they had not um, knit, a, a technique that they found difficult or something or a, a project that challenged them. I chose a brioche, an all over brioche lace shawl, um, loved it. This year I um, had a pretty hectic year with study, work, travel, um, so we didn't do anything and then next year, 2023, we are making the half and half wrap. So if you've stuck around for this long of an introduction, thank you. Um, and let's get on to it. So the half and half wrap is a pattern by Pearl Soho. It is a free pattern. Um, down in the description box, I've got a whole heap of information and different tutorials and whatnot. Um, and then I will possibly even put all of this in a PDF with links. Um, I'm just having issues with Adobe at the moment, so I may not be able to do that, um, but that would be also helpful if we could. But if not, it's all down here below on YouTube. Um, and then also information on Instagram. So first things you need to know, if you are joining us, um, you need to, you don't have to, um, but there will be a prize. And I just like to keep track of the metrics of who's joining us on this um, half an hour wrap along. So there is a registration on a Google doc that I, or Google form that I need you to do. Um, and the link to that is down, down below in the description. Um, I will, I can actually maybe screen record at some point um, and insert, but if not, basically you need to tell me your email address, a name. Um, why is email on here twice? Okay, I need to edit the form. <laughs> email, your name, your social media handle, um, your rubber ID, that's optional, not required. Um, and then I have two, three questions, two questions and a, and a bonus box. Is this a new cast on for you? Yes or no? Are you using Pearl Soho Linen Quill? Yes or no? And any other information. Um, so that's just so I can keep a track because um, I, if it's a new cast on for you, you'll be eligible for the prizes if you finish knitting the wrap within time frame. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. So let's go back to basic information. The knit along starts on December 31st this year. So it's a, it's a New Year's Eve cast on. Um, and basically we will knit until the 31st of December, 2023. If you don't finish it, that's no worries. It's just, there's a little bit of group accountability. Um, so I've decided that new cast-ons who finish before the 30th of June, 2023 will be eligible for a prize. Um, I have spoken with a yarn dyer who has offered some yarn support for the prize. I'm also going to stash deep or find something, but at this point there will be one, maybe two. I don't know what they are. So uh, we'll refresh later um, when I know. Um, works in progress are welcome and that's why I asked you the question of is this a new cast on for you I'd love for you um, to finish your wrap with us but eligibility for prizes is people who cast on and begin at the beginning of the year and they finish in the first six months pattern details will be listed below like I said it's a free pattern by Pearl Soho 
and I guess most importantly, what you'll need. So I will pop a picture up here on the screen, which is a copy of an Instagram post that I made like maybe two months ago. But essentially, um, it is a two color. Uh, the pattern is a two color um, wrap. I am using these two colors, which are um, Linen Quill by Pearl Soho. Um, so if you're knitting with this yarn, you need um, two or three skeins, depending on whether you knit the big or the bigger size um, of each color. So I've actually, I spread over my toe. I've got um, six skeins of, six skeins of yarn. Um, and I have, I'm yet to decide which is gonna be my cast on color. I'm, I'm leaning towards this, which is rhubarb, um, rhubarb pink, um, but we will see. Um, okay. Or if you're knitting with your own yarn. Now I'm in Australia, we use metric, so I have actually done the work to convert yards to meters. So this is in meters. If you are a US viewer or someone that uses Imperial, then um, the information is on the Pearl Soho website. But essentially you need, for the biggest size, you will need, um, sorry, for the small size, you'll need 724 meters or, and of one color and 773 of the second color. And then if you're needing the big size, you need 994 or 1,061 meters. So um, if you're not knitting with, yeah, so it's either two or three of linen quill, or those are your measurements for our non linen quill knitters. Um, you will also need a US size three, which is a 3.25 millimeter needle. Um, I will be, um, using one of my Chaogu interchangeable needles. Um, so this, uh, maybe not that wonky one, <laughs> I'll be using this pair here. I might actually bump it up to a three and a half, um, just cause I can, I'm not really a tight knitter, um, but actually I could probably use these ones. You will also need, um, and you can use circular or straight needles, that's up to you. You'll also need um, a stitch marker like this one here and also probably a progress keeper um which will show you the right or wrong side so something um like this which has a lobster claw clip or this one here which i got from the knitters league when i went to rhinebeck rhinebeck weekend this year and that'll just mark the front and like the right and the wrong side of your work i have done some watching of lots of different um videos I've linked below some tutorials, which I which I will definitely be using. So Stacey L. Stone of Stress Knits has knit, completed four, I think she's knitting her fifth half and half wrap. She has um, one video about tips, tricks, and color combos. So my suggestion, if you're undecided or you're on the fence, is definitely check out that video. And she also has a half and half wrap tutorial video as well. Um, I found some stitch tutorials from Pearl Soho for both short um for short rows wrap and turns and then also german short rows um, and then i've also got some videos below linked below um for modification so tips and tricks so um caddy jacks knits have did a tutorial um with german short rows edible thoughts does one also for german german short rows with this particular pattern and then um also there's an i cord edge tutorial which i found from a friend to knit with and that is linked below I have written out the pattern for myself. I don't have a printer here. I have one of my, I could use one at my parents' house, but I'm probably just gonna use this. You'll also need yourself a project bag at this stage. I'm starting with this one here, which is a beautiful bag. I've owned for a number of years from Vanessa at my creative garage. I'll link her below. Um, yeah, so modifications that before I've even started, I know that I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to do an eye cord edging. I haven't decided if that means that I will do an eye cord cast on as opposed to just a long tail cast on. Some of the recommendations I've seen on people's YouTubes are um, Norwegian cast ons, a cable cast on. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do, but I feel like if I'm going to do an eye cord edging, I probably should start with an eye cord cast on, which is a lot of stitches. But hey, we knit West Knits and he does those too. Um, I'm going to do an eye cord edging, so slipping the last three stitches on every row. Um, and I think my challenge for myself might be to knit this in continental knitting. So I'm an English style thrower. 
um, but I'm actually more of a flicker than like a, I don't drop the needle every time and I'm quite fast at that but I would like to continental knit um, I can do it but I'm fairly slow so uh, that's why I was like debating on my needle size do I maybe go up a size but if I continental then I probably shouldn't because I will probably be more loose when doing that um, I've read, gone through all of my notes if you have questions um, definitely pop them down below I will do my best to get back to you on here um, you can see my original Instagram post on my Instagram which the, my contact details are below um, but yeah the patterns a free pattern it's very low key um, I would love for you to join us if you are an international viewer um, I will say you are eligible for the prizes um, I might end up with um, two one that's like a one for Australia most of our participants that I know of or people who said they're keen are from Australia and then maybe an international price just because international shipping is so expensive um, but stand by for um, updates on that one I'm not entirely sure what the go is just yet I was hoping to have all of that sorted by the time I recorded this video but I it's December and I'm doing vlogmas and working and life um, so yeah that is all for now leave your comments below let me know if you're doing it please don't forget to register um, you don't have to cast on on the 31st you just have to cast on to be eligible for a prize in uh, as of like December 31st if you start a couple of days earlier I'm not gonna know um, but yeah the point is Christmas Eve cast on for most of us and knit through the year till we end up with um, a finished project I also have saved some um, people's in like if you look on Ravelry I'll tell you how many people have knit this pattern there are um, 1988 projects in Ravelry um, if I look at projects with notes there are 29 pages of projects with notes um, people talking about different yarns that they've used but if I actually do have one more thing sorry this is set up longer than I expected I am more than happy for you to do a variation do all of one color stash bust stripe it um, thicker yarn it's up to you I'm not fussy on how it goes it's not versus bigger and bigger big and bigger I actually think I'm gonna hack at the pattern a little bit and maybe cast on 240 stitches as opposed to 260 just because where I live is actually quite warm and I have zero need <laughs> for this wrap um but I want one so here we are okay I think that is it with my rambling thank you for joining me I'd love to have you knit along with us um in 2023 see you at the next podcast. Bye.